disqualify. All right. Thank you, Abby. Despite the chief of staff's emotional stand at the podium this week, Congresswoman Wilson continues to attack, attack General Kelly, saying his empty barrel comment is about uh, is about her and that it's racist. Listen. And uh, we looked it up in the dictionary because I had never heard of an empty barrel. And I don't like uh, to be uh, dragged into something like that. Sure, nowhere in the dictionary does it say that it's racist, but I digress. So is the Congresswoman hurting her own party and the country? Here to weigh in, Jim Hansen is president of the Security Studies Group, and he served in the U.S. Army Special Forces. And Wendy Osefo is a professor and political commentator. Thank you both for being here this morning. Uh, Jim, Thank I'll start you. with you. Uh, Empty barrel, John Kelly's comments, is there any racism in there that you can see? You know, a lot of people attribute that quote to Plato. And what he was saying was an empty vessel makes the loudest noise, just as the one with the least wit does the most blabbering. And I think calling at this point Representative Wilson a witless blabberer, making a lot of noise about an empty issue is correct. Nothing John Kelly said was racist. Everything Representative Wilson has done in this entire situation has been to stir up political controversy about a dignified and compassionate conversation where President Trump complimented Sergeant Wilson for having the bravery to sign up knowing the danger he'd be facing. Wendy, that's, that's I think the question. Why is it okay for her, this congresswoman, to impugn what President Trump said on a private phone call based on her characterization, but it's not okay for General Kelly to stand up and say, hey, I think you're wrong from the way you see things? Well, first of all, Jim made a comment. It's not Sergeant Wilson. It's Sergeant LaDavid Johnson. And that's what's being lost here. What's being lost is the people who died and who lost their lives in Niger. But since we are going to talk about this, let's talk about Frederica Wilson. Let's talk about her record. She has served honorably the federal, the Florida legislature since 2008, and she has been a congresswoman since 2011. What she has done is she is not witless. She is not an empty barrel. She actually started the 5,000 Role Models of Excellence program in which Sergeant Johnson was a graduate from. So when she talks about the death of Sergeant uh, Johnson, as well as there's other individuals who've graduated from her program who have also died in the line of battle, she's coming at it from a personal place. Sure. She's speaking of it as someone who graduated from my program who is no longer here. And how can we, you know, move forward in a progressive way so that doesn't happen anymore? So but again, she's not a wit. That's, a, that's not what she but is. But taking all that as it, 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 at face value, Jim, then wh why is she responding to this and saying, well, I'm a rock star. I mean, I must, I must be a rock star. Because she's politically grandstanding. She said basically the same thing as you all pointed out earlier on the show, talking about law enforcement officials in Miami, that these people leave their homes each night not knowing if they'll come home. That's the exact same thing that she's claiming President Trump said that was so awful. So I think to take that, and even if the family at the moment misunderstood it, I think there's a decent reason to believe she was the one who stirred up this controversy by ignoring the fact that that's actually a compliment. I don't think she's been acting in good faith, and whatever else she's done as a congressperson, this was a low and disrespectful way to take a basically solid way for the president to thank mm -hmm. the family for their son's service. Wendy, that's, no. what, that's what John Kelly was attempting to explain. Let me go on another level of this. MSNBC's Joy Reid took these attacks even further, uh, attacking General Kelly's entire childhood as racist. She said this, Kelly grew up in segregated Boston in an Irish Catholic neighborhood where women were bullied, and not honored, and blacks scorned and rejected. So uh, the argument is John Kelly must be a racist because he came from a different time in a different place. Why are we going at someone of his stature? By the way, the army one of the least racist institutions in our country. Why are we, why are we saying he's got to be a racist because he came from Boston? Well, again, you know, you just mentioned his stature. There is no one, regardless of your stature, that is beyond reproach, even if he's a four-star general. But what has he general. done that Wait, makes let him me finish. seem racist? Let me finish. Whether he's a racist or not, that's not for me to judge. However, what Joy and Reed did present was sociological factors that may say that he is racist, but that's not for me to judge. But what we have to know here is that we're talking about Frederico Wilson. She was in the car with the family. The family themselves said that they felt as though the president's comments was insensitive. A true 
true leader, anybody who makes a mistake, whether it was his intent or not, they would simply say, that is my apology, that was not my intent. That's, that would have ended this whole conversation. This family is a gold star family, they are grieving. And if a family says, I did not like what you said or I felt offended by it, the way that we can circumvent all of this and move forward is for the president to simply say, that was not my intent and I apologize. And that's what should have been done here. Well, the family could it, it, indeed has the right to their opinion on this for sure. But it, Jim, last word on how the Congresswoman reacted. I think in this case, she could have been the one knowing what she said about law she's enforcement. She's not the president. And understand she was in the car and she's the one who then went on television saying this was wrong and insensitive. Trump the went on and television and said that other and presidents and did that this. He meant to compliment Sergeant the, his service it, to our country. And I think that's what should be focused on. President Trump also made a statement that was true based on conversations with John Kelly that John Kelly did not receive a phone call, but these are these are the details that get glossed over. Jim Hansen and Wendy Osefo, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right.